Overclockers, my name's Bryony and welcome to this week's episode of Overclockers News Weekly. I've put together the best gaming and tech news from the past week so you can stay up to date. This week's stories include free games, newly released games and a lot of choice if you want to get your hands on a stunning new PC case. So let's jump into it. Kicking off the episode with the gaming chapter and this week's free game over on the Epic Game Store. If you head over there before the 24th of February, you can add Brothers A Tale Of Two Sons to your library. This beautiful game has been developed as part of a partnership between Starbreeze Studios and the Swedish film director Joseph Fares. It certainly shows it as well as it has a gorgeous immersive world and great storytelling throughout. The unique gameplay involves puzzle solving, exploration and big boss battles, all while controlling one brother with each thumbstick. It has thousands of positive reviews from gamers and critics alike, and if you're looking to play something that's a little bit different, short and fun, it's certainly a game that's well worth trying. You can get it for free now and save yourself $10.99 off the regular retail price. I'll drop a link to the store page below on Epic. Our next gaming story this week is a brilliant deal from Asus, who are giving away a free copy of Ghostwire Tokyo. This upcoming paranormal action-adventure game can be yours when you purchase a qualifying Asus Tough RTX-powered laptop. The gameplay looks incredible with a great mix of horror and powerful combat set in the eerie, empty streets of Tokyo. The population has vanished and the streets are overrun by deadly supernatural forces. Play through the storyline on your new Asus laptop to reveal the dark truth behind the disappearances. If you want to take advantage of this great promotion, simply purchase a qualifying laptop. You can easily spot these on the Overclockers website by looking out for the free gifts included sticker. Laptops included in the deal start at just $899.99 with the RTX 3050 Ti powered Tough Gaming F15. The deal is running until the 31st of March, which means you have enough time to get your order in before Tokyo Ghostwire launches on the 25th. It's super easy to claim your Steam key worth $49.99 via the Game Planet website, and if you want to learn more, I'll drop a link below. Moving on, the next gaming story this week is that The Wolf Among Us 2 now finally has a release date. The highly anticipated title has been a long time coming, as the original launched all the way back in 2013, and it became a bit of a cult classic, with over 1 million copies sold on Steam. It was even cancelled at one point due to the demise of developer Telltale Games, However, when the studio was revived in 2019, the development continued due to a partnership by Ad Hoc Studio, which is made up of previous Telltale employees, with directors, composers, and voice actors all returning for the sequel. Thanks to the recently released gameplay trailer, we know the second installment is scheduled to launch sometime in 2023, with no specific release date at this time. The Wolf Among Us 2 continues the story six months after the event of Season 1 and follows the story of Bigby Wolf, who is no longer the Sheriff of Fabletown. There's plenty of familiar faces returning in the second game and the trailer reveals new enemies, Dorothy, the Tin Man and the Scarecrow. The game still has the wonderful stylized artwork of the original, but this time around it's actually being developed on Unreal Engine. It will also still be released in an episodic approach, but with development of all chapters taking place simultaneously to avoid delays between releases like we had in the previous game. Let me know in the comments below if you're excited for this storytelling game and I'll make sure to keep you updated when we finally hear more details about the final release date. The final gaming story this week is about the incredibly popular US and EU release of MMORPG Lost Ark. Developed by Smilegate and published by Amazon Games, no one could have expected the free-to-play game to attract so many gamers. However, over last weekend, the concurrent players peaked at an incredible 1,325,000. 
This meant it beat out CSGO and Dota 2 at the time, and unsurprisingly, the servers were not prepared. For MMO players, it's just like the launch of Endwalker all over again, with thousands of players queuing for hours to get onto the overpopulated European servers. To help with this, Amazon announced that it's working 24-7 to add an entirely new region within Europe. However, unfortunately, due to no cross-region gameplay, it's unlikely to benefit players who've already leveled up, claimed their rewards and settled on the crowded Central European servers. To help ease the pain, Amazon will be giving players a launch celebration gift when the new region is up and running, with a cool looking horse mount, skins and chests. If you've not yet joined Lost Ark, I must admit the gameplay does look very fun. I think one of the reasons that it's going to be so popular is there's really something for everyone, with adventure, story, combat, creative classes to play, and daily quests and challenges to keep you coming back. It's recommended that new players join the soon to be launched new region to avoid those massive key times, and I know what I'll be doing this weekend. Kicking off the hardware chapter of the news this week is the announcement of three new case launches. The product launches have certainly been coming thick and fast this year, and if you want to build a new PC or maybe upgrade your ugly black box, you now have some great options. The most budget-friendly case comes from affordable manufacturer Colink. Their brand new flagship case called the Observatory Z slots in at the top of the range and comes with high-end features and quality at a very competitive price point for $119.99. This case is only a mid-tower size, but it comes with big support for EATX motherboards, full-length GPUs, up to a 420mm radiator and even 200mm fans on the front panel. It's the perfect case for showcasing high-end components and you can choose from the RGB version with two tempered glass panels for the ultimate RGB light show or the mesh version with an all mesh front panel that ensures great airflow. The next option is a wonderfully unique case from Fantex. The Shift XT is now available to pre-order at Overclockers UK and this unique expandable mini ITX chassis has three distinct modes. You can choose from compact, air boost, or water cooling to suit any PC build. It's compatible with huge GPUs with a built-in PCIe Gen 4 riser cable and extensive air cooling and water cooling support despite the compact size. The tempered glass front panel with the RGB Affinity Effect mirror completes the standout design and you can get it in satin black or galaxy silver for $134.99. The high-end option of the three is the Corsair 5000T. In true Corsair style, this blingy case has 208 individually addressable RGB LEDs with three included RGB fans for cooling and additional lighting. There's space to mount up to 10 120 fans and multiple 360mm radiators. The innovative features makes cable management a breeze and the spacious interior makes it easy to create your dream build. You can pre-order it now at Overclockers UK for $349.99 in either a black or a white option. So just in case you need a new PC case, I'll drop a link to all three of these wonderful options in the description below. Our final hardware story this week is that AMD has completed acquisition of Zilinx. AMD announced intentions to buy the technology and semiconductor company back in October 2020, and now all the legalities have been taken care of, the purchase is complete. The deal was originally valued at $35 billion, however, due to the recent rise in stock values, it's actually closed at a whopping $50 billion, which is the largest semiconductor acquisition in history. This means that AMD is now a bigger company by market capitalization than Intel, with a nearly $1.98 billion market cap. AMD will now have over 15,000 engineers working on R&D for CPUs, GPUs, AI, data centers, networking, and software, with each side bringing together its unique capabilities. 
It will be exciting to see where this new purchase takes AMD as the company announced its first previously licensed Xilinx technology products with both AMD and Xilinx tech are expected to come to market in 2023. So it looks like we won't have to wait too long to find out how this is going to go. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Overclockers News Weekly. Remember to check the description below if you want to get your hands on any of those awesome new cases. Give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and press the bell icon so you don't miss next week's episode and I'll see you again on Friday.